each of you to just get the oil out that you're drawn to and get it on. We're gonna, we're gonna go through a cool process tonight. We want tonight to be very experiential. And our intention is that you walk away um, knowing how to live free, right? That you know how to use your oils and you know how to use this beautiful reference that's been created for you, this guide to live free, right? How powerful is that in the world that we live in? Um, as I was preparing for tonight, um, maybe it's adaptive that you reach for, right? How many of you are loving adaptive? Hey. I know, let's make sure you guys keep it up in the chat so we, we get some good interaction tonight um, because this is going to be experiential we want to make sure that you are learning. So it's okay if we can't see you, we know you're there and we're so excited for you to experience this message because once we experience this message, then we can pass it on in such powerful ways. So I'm going to hop right in. Way to get that adaptive on. How many of you want to live free? How many of you are ready for that? As I did life today and <laughs> every day, it seems like that it consistently shows up messy. Is that your experience? That's my experience every time. It ends up just being plain messy. And, um, there is lots of cleanup to do. And when we talk about living free, um, most of the time, the thing that gets in the way is the mess, right? It's life, um, it's the messy that gets into the way and keeps us from living free. But tonight I wanna talk about um, another truth, right? Because life is messy, that's a reality, right? <laughs> we, not we don't sure it's going to change anytime soon. <laughs> no, let's not fight against the reality. But the truth is, you are whole. So, what does that mean? Um, you are whole. Uh, you're not fragmented. You don't have to buy into the mess. You have all that you need within you for your wholeness, and you can access that. And you're right here. You've been given incredible tools to support your wholeness, right? You have a brilliant body that's set up for your wholeness and set up to bring you healing and wholeness naturally. You have incredible tools with the most powerful essential oils in the world that you have access to at your fingertips, right? Think of our grandparents and their parents. No one they couldn't imagine having as many resources as we do from around the world. Not just a few plants from my backyard, but literally um, the support from all over the world, wherever it grows best. And now I have it at my fingertips to take care of mine and my family's physical health, our emotional health, and all, you know, our health on all levels, right? Can I share a little story? Please do. <laughs> so we have a four-year-old. He's a little bit crazy. <clears throat> and you guys know this, this man, Andy Goddard. I'm Natalie Goddard. We're so grateful for this opportunity to connect with you. Awesome. So our little four-year-old uh, is a little bit rambunctious. Uh, one day he was playing with some rocks and he smashed his thumb. And it smashed it so bad that his thumbnail fell off. It completely separated um, about a month later. And so... Um, We've been watching it, hoping that it would grow back. And guess what? It's most of the way back already. And he was explaining it to um, his brother, saying, my thumbnail is coming back. Look at it. And it just dawned on me so powerfully that we were made to heal, mm -hmm. that, that wholeness is our natural state. And so um, life, as messy as it is, is about returning to that wholeness. It's, it's about remembering that, that whole state that we came from and that we are returning to. So 
that's our intention for tonight mm -hmm. is, is to help us all remember how to be whole. It is, because it is a reality. And this process is actually so simple. You're going to love um, how simple it is to just remember who we are and be true to that. So wholeness, what does that look like? It's literally mind, body, spirit, wellness, right? And coming together in mind, body, spirit. And we accomplish more and more wholeness and more and more wellness as we nourish our mind, body, and spirit. So in this messy world, <laughs> what, what are the crazy things coming at us, right? It's easy to choose to not nourish or be overwhelmed by the messy world that we live in. But the truth is when we choose to nourish and nourish consistently, we can experience wholeness more and more consistently, right? And again, like we said, we've been given incredible tools to do that and support our mind, body, and spirit health and wellness. Um, coming to that mind, body, and spirit, if we think about them coming together, um, emotional health and living free, it's, it's not just any one category. It's not just about emotions. It's not just about the body. It is bringing mind, body, and spirit all together. And oftentimes our body will shed the tears that our eyes refuse to shed. Um, we can spend a lifetime of just pressing down our emotion and stuffing emotion until our body raises the hand and said, I can't take it anymore, right? The body eventually is going to shed those tears. So we can either learn how to do the work to process our emotions and live free every day with what's coming up in life, or it will catch up to us sooner or later, right? So I don't know about you, but I choose to, to learn the process so we can live free right now, right? And then we don't have to deal with all that's coming our way. Um, so this amazing book, Emotions, <laughs> it used to be called Emotions and Essential Oils, and now it's Essential Emotions. Uh, some of you will recognize it as this. Yeah, and, and what we love about, that book has been a gift to us for so long. Yep. Um, you know, we are here at doTERRA. We're here um, passionate about bringing a healer in every home because of the emotional journey that I went on, because of the emotional healing that I found in the essential oils. And so this book has helped me take that healing to whole new levels. And we've been able to experience that same thing with Should our family. So... I just want to, to highlight um, as a foundation, some of the, these five stages of healing, they're really powerful. So just understanding and getting this foundation of healing the physical body first, right? That's where it happens. And then when we've healed the physical body, then we can go on to the next level. Because without, without healing the physical body, we often can't get to deeper levels of healing, right? So um, when you think about that, it's kind of like the hierarchy, right? Maslow's hierarchy. We've got to take care of the physical body first, and then we can heal the heart. And there are whole, there's a whole section in the beginning of the book giving you this foundation. And I love this book because it can open up people to this and they can take it in as they're ready to receive it. But we know, we've experienced for ourselves how powerful the oils are oh. at, um, at really assisting in healing the physical body and helping it return to what it's meant to be, right? Uh, we have a brilliant body. We give the oil, we give our body the oils and the support that it needs and it can return to what it, what it naturally is. 
then we can move on to step two, which is healing the heart, right? So healing the heart, how does that happen, right? Um, we've got energy now from healing the body and we can move on to the heart. And as we let go of some of the lower feelings or vibrations in our heart, our heart becomes more and more whole and more and more healed. And then um, these are things that the body wants to release. These are things that our heart wants to let go of naturally. And so we're always seeking for that healing. And when we bring in the oils into our world, they can just support us in getting there and getting to where we want to be. So next, um, you know, and many of you have been on this journey, right? Maybe you've been using the oils for a while and after a while, these old feelings resurface and, and you can actually, you have the tools to help them let, help you let them go, right? And that is such a powerful place to be in. Um, as you start healing the heart, then you have the power to heal more permanent things, right? Our emotions, they're, they're happening quickly, they're happening fast, but our beliefs are a little more set typically than that. And so um, releasing limiting beliefs is powerful and the oils can help us do that in really amazing ways. That leads us to having an increased spiritual awareness and connection, right? That connection to who we really are, that divine connection, whatever it is that you believe that is, it is real. And when we get these other, this brokenness, this other mess out of the way and remember who we really are, then that connection is so um, deep and can help us stay and flow in all that we're doing in our world. Um, number five, and what we believe is the final stage of healing, then we can get to this inspiring the fulfillment of life's purpose. And what that looks like to us is just now being ready to actualize who you really are and what you came here to do, right? Because you're free and more whole in all of these ways and you've been on that journey, now you have the clarity and courage to follow the path that was meant for you. And that is pretty amazing. That to me is the definition of living free, right? Because if we are living our purpose, if we are in our flow, if we're in our joy, that's where the magic happens. So, um, so I want to talk briefly before we hop into doing some of the emotional work, just about some of the other to tools. Um, we've always found that the oils facilitated this work. I remember I started using doTERRA essential oils when I was a holistic health coach. I'd already been practicing for six years as a holistic health coach. I helped a lot of people get through um, issues or get to their goals. And what I noticed so quickly was as they brought doTERRA into their program or into what they were doing to care for themselves, it would quicken. There was a quickening that would happen. So the oils, what used to take six months would take six weeks. And I, I, I love the power of essential oils. That's why I'm here. That's why I share this message is because I've felt it and experienced it for myself and I've seen it countless times. So the essential oils are a given. Draw on those. Um, and then we have some other tools that are so powerful in this process. Um, meditation, we're seeing now through research and we've seen through all this life experience, the power of meditation in helping us do that work of letting go and living free. Um, journaling, and we'll show you some tools that will help you in that. Um, journaling can be done anytime, anywhere, doing your own personal inventory. How about nature therapy as you're walking around on, you know, barefooted on the ground or out in nature in some way, shape or form so that you can connect to that and remember who you are, right? If we think about nature, nature 
was created. It's true to what it was created to be. And we're just trying to remember our wholeness and be true to that. So nature can support us in that process. process. Um, personalized modalities. There's so many modalities out there to support us um, in our emotional work. I know a lot of people that do EFT or tapping. There's a lot of people that use zone therapy or other therapies to support their emotional work. Whatever that may be for you, um, draw on those personalized therapies. Um, health habits are going to be a key part for you to keep doing the emotional work because when you have the energy and your body has that foundation of health to work from, then you can go to higher levels in all of your emotional, um, in this processing, right? So, um, again, we chose um, this to be your guide to process, release, and live free. So, in order to live free, you literally have to process what you're feeling and experiencing, right? Then we choose to release it and then we can live free. Um, and with all the mess that's coming our way every day, this is a choice that we get to make every day. I literally am reaching for this book several times time, a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm to support me in my life, to support my family, to support the other people that are coming into our world. So um, the first way to open us up to living more free is actually paying attention to how we feel. And sometimes um, that, I mean, that's a process, right? Like it doesn't just happen overnight because when we've stuffed or when we've worn these masks of, I, I need to be appropriate or it needs to look like this or that, then it's hard sometimes to get to how we really feel. I don't know about most of you, but um, for me as a guy, I was, um, I was just less in touch with my feelings. Um, so now they would ask me, how are you doing? And be like, fine. And, and then she'd be like, why aren't you talking to me? And I'll be like, I told you I'm fine. <laughs> like what, what, what else is there? It's the either fine or, or bad. And I said, <laughs> fine. And so um, my experience is that it takes a lot of us, especially guys, a while to really tune in and, and to listen to inner voices and to listen to more subtle emotions. Um, but they're real. They're, they're so real. And so as you've tuned into that a little bit more, Andy, what have you discovered? What I've discovered is that emotional intelligence is more important than any other type of intelligence. Um, in school, there's a lot of focus on IQ, right? Just um, intellectual quotient, but there, there's an emotional that actually will take you so much further in life. <clears throat> if you can come to understand yourself and other people's emotions and navigate that territory, um, you can do anything. It's, it's powerful. So this is almost like waking up to our own um, feelings so we can establish our own EQ, right? Not our IQ, but our emotional quotient. And as we tap into that, I love what you were saying about listen to the body. Um, the, one of my favorite videos, um, you can YouTube it later, but it's a powerful one. It's called Listen to the Body. Um, I think we're... Okay. Um, and it's all about doing that. Sure. Let's, let's drop into that and just watch that together for a moment so that you can experience that um, for yourself and just what that might feel like to listen to your body more. And so what we're gonna do um, after this is just, I want you to tap into what emotions you're feeling now and what's going on in your body. If we can listen to our body and listen to mind, body, spirit, then we can go into greater freedom. Peace. 
Pianos have a range of tone that is often never tapped. Sometimes it just needs a little tuning, and other times it needs major repairs. One day, I took a new prescription drug for my allergies, and the side effects left my body in so much pain that I was immobilized. I was out of work for months. And while lying there, I learned something. I finally learned to listen to my body. Our bodies are instruments, constantly giving us feedback. And mine was badly out of tune. So I just focused on one note at a time. Soon I was off medication, then I was out of bed. All of my health problems started to disappear and I began to feel my body repairing itself and getting better. I think a lot of people feel out of tune and that same flat chord or noise just becomes the daily norm. Although it doesn't have to be. Our bodies can have a much richer tone. And for me, by listening, I found the natural tools that my body needed for its full range of music. Don't you just love that message that it's all right there for us and we can literally, um, we can tune into our body in a way that's so powerful. Um, as we do that, we can choose those things that we went over, you know, where am I at in my stages of healing and which of these tools am I ready to use in this process? He was able to tap into essential oils and other healing. And now we want to share with you a little bit of what um, the essential emotions has to offer you in, in that connecting with how you're feeling and cluing into your journey and experience. Let's see. Which one is it? Okay. So nope. here we go. We got this. So one of the things that I've noticed just recently is how often um, again, life is messy. Just in the past few months, dear, dear people that I love, and maybe you'll relate to this, have dealt with um, depression, worth issues, um, frustration, or not knowing how to adapt to new situations or school, um, addictions. Um, man, even, even all these physical things like... Um, acne and other things in our world today um, and all of the tech that's around us it's easy to um, shut shut down this process that's so important for us to do with what we're feeling and the emotions so the first thing is that awareness and cluing into the body the second thing is actually choosing to let go of that right our emotions are helpful to guide us. They are like a, um, like a guiding star, like a North star for us. If we'll pay attention to how we feel and tune into that, it will guide us on where to go. And through this process, we can release the, any negative emotions and receive higher emotions. And this process is happening all of the time. The funny thing that I find is how children, they flow through emotions so quickly. Um, they can go from, you know, they just got punched in the gut by their big brother and they were yelling at him to, you know, giggling and, and having a tickle war on the bed within seconds. 
and it's to totally natural. And so children have this release receive cycle mastered, but it's we adults who tend to get stuck. We tend to um, get into a rut that um, for whatever reason, it starts to become our story. And so um, that's one of our biggest invitations today is um, to let go, to, to be willing to release whatever stuck emotion you're experiencing. And the oils are so powerful at that. So we're going to take you through, um, through a little process that will show you three major ways that you can use the book to um, help you in this process of releasing and receiving. And number one is just when you're feeling drawn to or resistant to an oil, you identify what that oil is. And have you ever felt that way, right? Maybe right now you're just like, I'm so into adaptive. This is it for me, right? And that's powerful to draw on. Well, um, one of the oils that I'm totally drawn to right now black spruce right here, is right here. black spruce. Anybody else? Yep. Seeing some hands going up. <laughs> yes. Um, that is... Black spruce is incredible and it is the oil of stability. And in the book, you'll see a full on description for every oil that there is. So look at what we can learn about black spruce right here. It's both grounding and stabilizing. Spruces are the most grounding of all the grounding oils, um, especially helpful in times of crisis, shock or trauma. And, um, Sometimes we can get our energy splintering during those times, but black spruce can help us come back to that grounded, balanced state and be stable again. Um, it's also so powerful at mastering the art of energy conservation and endurance, right? How many of that, us need that in our world? Models how to persevere through the storms of life by drawing strength from one's roots. It offers a model of vitality and longevity. So I would look through this description, read through it, and see which things stood out to me. Oh, yeah, you know, I would see um, black spruce as an ally in dealing with fear, especially subconscious generational fears. And that would help me have a new awareness of why I was drawn to black spruce and what work I could do, right? I love keeping notes about what I'm learning and what lessons life is giving me right now. So as you do that more and more, um, this will help you in that process of actually, you know, letting go of emotions and receiving the lessons that life is giving to you. So let's take adaptive, right? Maybe you're drawn to adaptive oil, which who isn't, right? But why is that? Because it's so, it's the oil of adaptability. It's there to help us with anxious states and it gives reassurance and calm when we're caught in cycles of constriction, tension, worry, solitude, or uneasiness. So again, this whole time, I'm just going to scan this, read through it and see which things um, stand out. This blend will partner with an individual in asking the difficult questions of why they don't feel safe and what part of themselves is in need of attention. It cautions that self-judgment and self-loneliness are functions of the inner critic and only inflict further trauma on an already overwhelmed soul. Teaches the need for kindness towards oneself and self-acceptance for wherever they are on their journey. So just watching those things can help you get the lesson from the oil. And so I love these descriptions that you can find on every oil. So next... Um, any questions on that? That's a simple way to use the oils and we've had the book and it's been accessible to use in that way for a long time. So now we're going to add, add a whole new level of understanding on how you can use this book as a tool. Okay. So maybe you find yourself in one of these scenarios. Maybe you have a lack or excess of emotion. You know, how many days is that happening? Um, it's, it's happening a lot of days. So um, 
maybe you're having, you want to feel, um, what is it? Let's see. Um, this book is Essential Emotions. So if I have a lack of, maybe I'm feeling, I've been speaking with a lot of people that are having issues with worth, right? So I'm having a lack of worthiness. So I can open up the book to the emotions section. So I'd be on page 267 and look at worthy. And there, um, I'm going to have oils that are going to help me feel more worthy. And then I'm going to also encounter some really great tools to help me uh, deal with that, right? So we're going to show you um, a little bit of that and go through that process. So that's what I would do um, with an emotion that I was feeling. Let's say I'm feeling discouraged or worthless. I'm literally going to look up discouraged or look up worthless and I'm going to apply the oil that it talks about and then I'm going to go through the process. So I want to hear um, from some of you as you paid attention to how you were feeling, what are some of the emotions that are going on for you? What are things that you're feeling a lack of and you want to feel more of or what are you feeling in excess of drop it into the chat box well beautiful okay let's take okay give me a few more and we'll take the one we see the most yeah. Overwhelm, worth, not good enough, failure, self doubt, worry, right? Want to feel more confidence. Okay. So, um, all of these, you're going to find answers to all of these, which I'm so excited for just to see this, right? These are needs, they're real. Um, and there are answers for you. So as I feel who you are and what you want and what you desire, like there are really answers for you and things are going to get better. So, um, let's go in with the overwhelm. There was a lot of overwhelms, right? Andy Goddard. <laughs> so I'm going to turn to overwhelm in the book. And you know what's great is you can look this up in the book and you also have another tool. Um, this is also an app that you can access anywhere. So this is my book. It has all my little post-its in it. <laughs> so I can, um, because I'm always learning and always take, paying attention to this. But when I get right down here to overwhelm, Maybe we drop this in a sec. And I'm looking at the oils that are outlined here. And um, um, so I've got basil, I've got aroma touch, I've got all these oils showing up for me. Um, and Overwhelm actually has quite a few oils. So I'm going to look at that list and I'm going to see which one's standing out to me. Um, maybe one of those oils will kind of stand out more than another. And if not, I'm going to, I'm going to start with the first one on that list that I have. You can't go wrong with the oils and they'll all support you um, in that way. So I'm going to get that oil out. And first of all, I'm going to put it under my nose, right? So let's just, um, I brought down my yarrow palm. So I'm going to get, get a little bit of that oil. I'm going to get it under my nose. I'm going to get it across my forehead. So why under my nose? Fastest way to the brain. The olfactory is the fastest way to the brain. It's going to reach up to that amygdala 
and support in my processing of emotions. That's my memory center. And I, I love how quickly the oils are gonna work that way. So I'm getting that oil on me and especially experiencing it aromatically. Um, and then the next thing that I have right here on the page is, is it's giving me a question and I can just read it. It says, what am I trying to control? So let's just all do this overwhelm. We all experience overwhelm to some degree. Let's dive in right here with, with you. What am I trying to control? So I want you to just answer that on your little notebook or whatever you've got next to you. What am I trying to control? The second question is, do I trust that help outside of myself is readily available? Do I trust that help outside of myself is readily available? And start, um, start popping in some of the things that come up for you if you'd like to share. But those questions itself, it's kind of like you can have an emotion coach with you wherever you are at any time of day. I know that when my husband started cluing in to how he was feeling and he could ask me some basic questions like that, it stopped me from this process of complete, you know, like I start feeling an emotion and that emotion just takes over, right? Um, how many of you have ever been in a car when the car in front of you just stops abruptly and you have to slam on the brakes? right? We've, we've been there. And how do you feel when that happens? You feel this rush through your whole body. And that to me is just the perfect example of, you know, I didn't have anything happen, but those, those triggers, those substances in our body are real, right? So whether it's that flight or fight, or serotonin or other things that are coming when we feel certain emotions they're real and they can floor us in just a moment and when we have these powerful questions to go to we can just instead of doing that normal response that our brain is so ready to do it we can open up the book and we can find another way we can ask a question that helps us redirect our mind and we've got the oils on to help open up that possibility and then just that understanding so you know some of you just being aware trying to control the atmosphere for my daughter trying to homeschool and help her to be less anxious and have self-worth you know these are basic things but when we understand that feeling and where it's coming from then we can do something about it wow i love it um so um here we are, we've asked those questions, we're getting clear on that, but then the next one, and there is a, is a little, um, I love right down here at the bottom, you'll see the little key that's gonna guide you through the icons up here because we've, we've addressed our oils, right? We've looked deeper with a few questions and next there's a declaration, right? So here I am in overwhelm, I'm starting to see where, I'm experiencing that overwhelm and then I can say I am now perfectly supported in every moment and I want you to say that with us in whatever way right I am now perfectly supported in every moment all things now work together for my good all things now work together for my good so that declaration these were we had the help of a declaration coach, a person that knows just the right language to help the subconscious mind believe in these declarations and help um, the powerful part of us create from them as well. And then the visualization. So the visualization is just gonna give you an idea of what you could close your eyes and visualize for a moment. And um, the power that is within us is so real, right? We talked about 
the answers being within us, that we have incredible tools that we can bring in and draw in, but the answers are within us. And uh, these questions are in the app as well. So here we go to the visualization. It's see white light flooding into your heart and supporting the spine and low back, right? So that's a really powerful visualization. And you'll notice as you do it, just that you can breathe out that feeling of overwhelm and breathe in a feeling of being perfectly supported, right? I love the fact that um, somebody said um, that their issue is, um, here it is. They say, help is available, but it's so hard for me to reach out. Pure pride and desire to keep it together at all times. Hmm. So what, what we're seeing here is this is a related but separate emotion that you're feeling. So we started with overwhelm and then you've moved to, um, you know, and, and I'd love to hear from your comments. Based on that comment, what are some other uh, sections or emotions that you might go to? And I'd, I'd love to hear you put them in the comments box. So based on their comment, um, it's hard for me to reach out, pride and the desire to keep it all together, together at all times. So post in the comments, what section, if you were coaching this person, which emotion you might point them to to help them out. Love, love this because when we unlock one thing and we start doing the work, what happens? We start seeing, wow, there's more. There's, you know, know it's like an iceberg, right? That, um, we might feel the effects of it because we start, you know, arguing with our children or arguing with our spouse because we're feeling overwhelmed. But then we start looking at that overwhelm, pride right here. Okay. Um, then we start looking at that overwhelm and what do we discover? Oh, it's got pride underneath that overwhelm because I'm too proud to ask for support and ask for help. And it, it's also got this need to look good, right? Mm -hmm. This appearances, you know, and all about that and putting on appearances, mm -hmm. emotion and belief that we've got going. So then we can just keep dialing in. So there's love what you guys are coming up with and what you're seeing. Um, Self-image, you could look that up, right? Yeah, because it's all about the self um, trust, apathy, fear, judgment, incapable. Yeah. And so maybe, maybe as you're helping someone else or you're going through this process yourself, you're almost just like, okay, what is this to me? And you stand in that question for a minute so you can tune into your body, tune into your emotions and know what it's really about. So you could look up prideful. You could look arrogant. up fear, arrogant. Um, what I thought of was if you're, if you're feeling like you can't ask for help, you know help is there, but you can't ask for it. Why do you feel unworthy? Mm -hmm. So I would go to worth on that one. I'm, because you're not, clearly you don't feel worthy to ask for, for the help that you know you need. So let's just turn to unworthy so you can get one more idea of how that might feel, okay? So what are the oils for unworthy? Um, Copaiba, Cassia, Hope, Slim and Sassy right? So reaching for one of those oils and then asking yourself, are the voices I'm listening to from a trustworthy source? So if I'm feeling unworthy, what voices am I listening to? And are they from a trustworthy source? What is clouding my perspective of myself? What does my higher power tell me about my worthiness? Um, are there things I need to change? Yeah. She says, no wonder I've been craving copaiba like crazy. <laughs> now we can see why we're drawn yeah. to these oils. So asking some of those questions. What is clouding my perspective of myself? Are there things I need to change? Um, I can now, so then we move into the declaration again, right? I can now accept uh, that I have intrinsic worth and value. I can now harmonize my life with my highest good. 
Isn't that powerful seeing, wow, that's my highest good and here I am coming into it. And then your visualization could be imagine surrendering all unworthiness. So just letting all that unworthiness leave you. See your mind, heart, and gut be filled with perfect love. So do you see how these processes are really super simple? Do you see how it can help you go whatever, whatever direction, whatever thing comes up, you've got, you've got answers. Um, so this emotion section is really, really powerful. And again, it's like having an emotion coach at your fingertips. When we started um, doTERRA, uh, it was 11 years ago, and a few, a little bit in, we found an emotion coach because we had a lot of work to do, right? Well, if I could give anyone anything, it would be that help all along the way, right? But how many of us can have access to an emotion coach every time we need it, right? We've got to learn for ourselves. We need to be empowered for ourselves. And so truly just being aware of how we're feeling and going to that emotion, whether you're pulling it up in the book or the app, you've got that direction to take you through this process, to process so that you can release and live free. So, Should we talk about the last way to use the book? Yeah. Okay. Um, so again, I'm showing you right here, there's three different green tabs on the book. One is the oil descriptions. The second one is the body section. And this body reference, um, is really cool. It will help you. A lot of times we have physical pain or discomfort and we've used an oil for it or we've taken care of our body. We feel like it should be going away. And what happens? Sometimes that physical pain or discomfort remains for one reason or another. And so um, when that happens or we're having a problem with some <laughs> or uh, discomfort with one certain thing, like I was in a class the other day and this woman said, I just keep having a pain in my neck and I've used deep blue, I've used aromatouch, I've used all these tools and yet I still have this pain. Well, it's because there is an emotional root to that pain. And so when we look up something in the body section, that can help us um, identify what that root is. So she did. Yep. So she went to the book, she looked up neck. In and, the body section. And guess what she found? Accepting change. The ability to forgive the self for past mistakes. And um, the question was, is there something I need to forgive myself in order to move forward? Mm -hmm. And in her case, there was a coworker that she had not forgiven for something. And she was harboring some deep anger and resentment towards this person. And so she realized, oh, this is not about local muscle issue. This is about a deeper emotional root. And, and so guess what oil she went for? Forgive. She started applying forgive on a regular basis. And within days, the pain was gone. Mm -hmm. This is pain that had been with her for over a week. And once she got to the emotional root, and she released it, she found healing. Isn't that powerful to see how that's being used? I love, um, I love, I see how on this next section, so, you know, right here, you're seeing all of that emotional root to neck, and this is brought together. There's been so many incredible works that have been done over the last 30, 40 years. Um, that Louise Hay. Louise Hay, Carol Truman, all of her work. So four or five incredible works come together to bring you this reference of, you know, they've done the connections. They've identified the emotional roots to these physical locations of the body or physical issues. And then you can identify which one of these underlying emotions might connect best, right? So then let's say anger, angry, was the one that stood out to her. Then she looks up angry in the emotions section. And what does she find? Oh, 
there's forgive, right? And she, she uses forgive and she can go through the questions that are there, right? Even if you just get this far, um, you can also just do the question right here. Is there something I need to forgive myself for in order to move forward? You know, and such a powerful question just to keep moving forward, right? So see how, um, See how when you've got this physical pain or discomfort, you're looking up something in the body section, which is then taking you to the emotion section if you want to go deeper. We got a lot of value just from the body section, but we also have that value coming um, added, added to that by going to the emotion section again. Um, yeah, it's really powerful to kind of start unlocking this, right? Okay. Scrolling. Oh, sorry. I need, it's a good thing I have a techie husband so he can help me do this right, right? Oh, you know, somebody was just saying how well this can work with sym Symphony of Cells. Mm -hmm. And I brought down my Symphony of Cells book because, oh my goodness, you know, you were just talking about forgiveness mm -hmm. and there's a whole protocol in Symphony of Cells for forgiveness. And I love, um, the very latest, just how simple it is. I've helped some of our team members in other countries because it just have the list of oils of what you need applied and their symbols and they don't even need to speak English to be able to access this in supporting with these emotional processes. So um, whether it's forgiveness or chi um, or just the basic, right? You can use um, Symphony of Cells, and I encourage you to learn more about that because, um, and maybe Oil Life can, yeah, there's the, there's the link, super powerful to help on some of those bigger issues, right, that are just deeper, and we need more support in this. I love from Camille, um, you had a family activity the other night where they each identified their strongest emotion and then chose the supportive oil that they were most drawn to. It is their power oil for the week and the kids have been faithful and applying every day a few times. It's pretty exciting to have such tools at our fingertips. Wow. Um, really powerful to see how things that are so, so simple can provide us so much clarity and value, right? Because again, what are we looking for? We want to be living our purpose and on purpose. And as we do these simple practices to address the emotions that are real and that we're feeling and pay attention to what's going on in our body, heart, mind, spirit, um, then we can process this by doing those questions, by doing that journaling, by doing that meditation and paying attention um, and then we can release it, let it go, right? It served us. We've learned the lesson from it. And then we're ready to move on and live free. Um, so this is the work. This is doing the work. And however you get to doing the work, it doesn't matter. But if you'll take the time to do the work, use the oils, you, you will break through. This is our experience time and time again. It's reality, it's what's happening around the world. There is a movement for living free. Everybody wants it. And people in the world sometimes think, oh, it's gonna come by having more stuff, or it's gonna come by getting more money, or it's gonna come here or there, but truly, the only freedom we find is within, right? By learning these lessons, getting the lessons and moving on. So um, the processes that we shared with you tonight, they may look really simple. Don't let that deceive you. They are so, so powerful. Yeah. So powerful. We want to be able to, okay, here's a picture of what the app looks like so that you know about that and you can access that and here's what it looks like inside the app so you've got three different tabs 
uh, just like in the book, you got three main sections, the emotions, the oils, and the body section. And all the content is there, um, so you can access it and have it with you on the go. This is probably the one we reach for most often just because we always have our phones with us. Um, and Natalie, is this app only available on iPhone? No, I am so grateful. Um, one of our good friends, Jenny Swim, she had been working on this for so long and because of that, it's available on iPhone and Android. So you can have it in both worlds, right? Wherever, wherever you operate, wherever you live, you can access it there. And what I also like, Andy, is that I can click on things and it, they're linked and connected. And a lot of times I'm using this tool to send people a screenshot, right? Yeah. So let's say somebody's um, having an issue with their body um, or let's say they're feeling abandoned, right? So what do I do? I click on, I was on the emotion tab. I click into abandoned and here we go. I'm, I'm in and then I can see this is the description. So I'm sure I'm on, on, oh yeah, I am feeling abandoned. That's right. And then I see the supporting oils, right? Again, do I have to use every one of these oils? No, I get to use the oil that's standing out for me, right? Maybe it's frankincense, maybe it's myrrh. Um, I'm choosing that oil, I'm getting it on. And then here I have my processing support right here. I'm gonna look deeper and ask those questions. Who or what has left me alone? Do I feel lost over a change in my life? And then, um, then my declaration, I am now perfectly supported in every moment. I am now open to trusting and acknowledging that I'm well provided for. And then my visualizations, seeing myself held in loving arms, allowing comfort and healing to flow into your heart. So um, powerful tools, the oil description, the oil descriptions aren't quite as long as in the book, right? That's true. We made it work for an app so you could see it all on one screen and it wasn't just like, I have to read and read and read. So those are a little condensed in the app. Um, and there is not all of the introduction right. and the description on how to right. use things. Um, because like here in the book, at the beginning of the body section, you have a whole page telling you how to use the body section, right? And then you've even got a body map showing you, oh, these are the parts that we hit on. Those, all of those parts are identified so you know where to hone in on. Same thing with the emotions section. And so in that emotions guide, it's giving you that step-by-step -step process. We wanted to show you that process so you could see it for yourself and see how it lives. Um, but it will take you through step by step so you can just begin to be natural with this process and just fine tune this process for you. So a lot of people are wondering, you know, um, is this a subscription base? So am I going to have to pay, an, you know, for the updated app every year when the new oils come out? Well, unfortunately, Natalie and I are suckers for helping as many people as possible. And so we just made it one time, you pay once, I think it's $14.99, mm -hmm. you pay once and you're gonna get updates for life. So um, you don't have to buy it every new, you know, buy, it, buy the app all over again every year. Um, some of you may have bought the app in the past. All you need to do is update the app and you've got all of the, the whole new version of the app. In your on your phone so if you have that app all you have to do what do you how do you do update. that andy goddard just like you update your apps you know just you go to your app store or your google play and you look for which apps need to be updated and you just update that one thank you we needed that play by play so that's um we're super excited to get this out there um we've got several of i don't know we've got 12 
languages in the works. This is always more complicated than you think to translate something, but we really feel like this message is timely. The world needs um, to have tools to be able to deal with all that's coming our way, right? We all need these tools. And so um, we're so excited for you to know how to process, release, and live free. And we invite you to open up the book. Um, get it if you don't have it. Get it in your home. Share it with your people. You can teach a class from this book. You can um, do, like I love what she was sharing earlier, that she's totally using it to help her family clue in on which oil they need emotionally that week, and that's their power oil. Whatever it is that you need, you can access it and use the principles that are found here to support you and those you care about. Um, the app, again, send screenshots, use yep. the app. Yep. I love that I can have the app wherever I am and have access to that. So we're so excited for you. Any other questions as we close? Somebody asked if we wrote the book. We, well, that's a good question. And honestly, there was an incredible team from Enlighten. And about 10 years ago, they brought together, maybe it was more like eight mm -hmm. years ago, they did the work, they did the research, they, they spent the time to understand these oils and really get a powerful awareness of them. And then they wrote those descriptions. And today we still partner with one of that enlightened team to help bring new descriptions of those oils each year. So it's true to that original purpose of understanding the plants and these oils and what power and impact and influence they bring to us. So we're so grateful for them and the, wow, that was powerful work, a work of love to bring that together for us that we can always access that. And then we have recently, um, brought together this emotion section and the body section to add to the book, to expand its use so that you have this emotion, emotion coach on tab um, there whenever you need it. And um, again, thanks to Jenny Swim for all of her work there. Um, Jill contributed and so many others. Um, Quinn Curtis had a vision mm -hmm. to um, support in this. So we could not thank all of the people that have been so involved. Um, this uh, year, Lara Jacobs helped considerably in helping understand things and shape things. And so it's really brought to you by so many people that care about this movement of um, being able to process, release, and live free. And that's our wish for you. Um, keep up the work do the work, make a time on a regular basis that you have set apart. We have Tuesday morning at nine o'clock is when we do the work and everything else stops so that we can make sure and do the work because we want to live free. That is the good life. And you have all the tools to live free. Friends, so grateful for you. Thanks for joining us. Take care. Lots of love. Live free.